Asalamu alaikum. Karibu katika somo letu la matrices. Tulikuwa tumefika kwenye the inverse of a matrix. Nini maana inverse kawaida? Kwa mfano the inverse of 3 is 1 over 3. Ni kama reciprocal. Yamaanisha nini? Ukichukua 3 times 1 over 3 si utapata 1 kwa sababu 3 na 3 ta cancel. Amu kiambua the inverse of negative 2 over 5. Jibu lake litakuwa ngapi? Litakuwa 5 over negative 2. Kwa sababu gani? Negative 2 over 5 times negative 5 over 2 utaweza kukancel hapa by 2, by 2, by 5, by 5. Mwisho utapata ngapi? 1. So hindo kawaida maana ya inverse. Lakini leo tunataka tuangalie inverse of a matrix. Kwa mfano umeambiwa find the inverse of this ambayo matrix yenyewe a ni nini 4 3 1 2 This is a 2 by 2 matrix kwa hivyo it is a square matrix Square matrix ndo mara nyingi uwezo kaulizwa inverse Tuangalie inverse yafanywa vipi Inverse yamaanisha hivi ama formula yake ni hivi Inverse equals to 1 over the determinant alafu times the adjoint inverse is equals 1 over determinant times the adjoint nini maana ya determinant nini maana ya adjoint determinant ni rahisi ni hivi tu kuchukua leading diagonal minus trailing diagonal. Kwa mfano hapa mimi nataka a inverse nitaandika nini? 1 over determinant times the adjoint. Determinant hapa ilikuwa ngapi? Wachukua leading diagonal minus trailing diagonal. Hapo utachukua 4 times 2 ni 8 minus 1 times 3 ni 3. Kwa hivyo 8 minus 3 determinant yetu hapa itakuwa ni 5. Alafu sasa waandika adjoint. Adjoint kwa Kiswahili watu naita matrix ya kubadilishwa. Wabadilisha nini? 5 na 2 unazi hii 4 na 2 unazi switch. You switch the digits in the leading diagonal. 4 na 2 waleta 2 hapa, alafu 4 ileta hapa chini. Alafu in the trailing diagonal you only change the signs you don't switch anything. Ona one ilikuwa hapa waandika pale pale one lakini sasa hii wabadilisha ya wa negative one. Lao ingekuwa negative one hapa ningeandika positive one. Sawa sawa. Na hii three pia waiteremsha hapa waandika nini? Negative three. Kwa hivyo you switch the digits in the leading diagonal and you change the signs in the trailing diagonal he ndio inverse ya hii a inverse hii hapa one over determinant times the adjoint yote kwa pamoja kama wataka kuimalizia watia 1 over 5 hapa ndani na kwa 2 over 5 negative 1 over 5 negative 3 over 5 and 4 over 5 lakini hata ukiwacha hivi ushakamilisha inverse hebu tuangalie faida yake siwakumbuka so, hapa juu inverse Anything times its inverse gives you 1. Sasa kwenye matrix haswa hizi square matrices inverse inakusaidia hivi. Hebu tuchukue something times its inverse. Inverse hii hapa 1 over 5 times 2 negative 3 negative 1 4 hiyo ndio ilikuwa inverse alafu matrix yenyewe iko wapi? ilikuwa ni 4 3 1 2 hebu tuiweke hapa 4 3 1 2 let us multiply he times he tuangalie kama tutapata one whole number na hapa one whole number inakuja kwa njia nyingine hebu tuiangalie how do you multiply matrices unakwenda rows times columns kama haujui kufanya angalia video yetu nyingine kwa hivyo row times column 2 times 4 8 negative 1 times 3 negative 3 kwa hivyo 8 minus 3 itakuwa ngapi 
tushamaliza ro na kolami ya kwanza twende nyingine ro ama tuje hapa chini kwanza ro times hii kolami ya kwanza negative 3 times 4 negative 12 4 times 3 12 negative 12 plus 12 utapata 0 haya twende kolami ya pili sasa ro times kolam 2 times 1 2 negative 1 times 2 negative 2 2 plus negative 2 itakuwa ngapi? 0. Ah tumalize hii kolam ya mwisho. Rho times kolam negative 3 times 1 negative 3. 4 times 2 8. Negative 3 plus 8 utabaki na ngapi? 5. Au kunje tulikuwa na 1 over 5. Ah tukamilishe 1 over 5 times 5 utapata 1. 1 over 5 times 0 utapata 0 1 over 5 times 0 utapata 0 na 1 over 5 times 5 utapata 1 Hii hapa ndo inaitwa the identity matrix ambayo ni sawa na namba 1 lakini kwenye matrices Kwa hivyo inverse times the matrix is equals to the identity Inverse times matrix is equals to the identity Namba yoyote utakayofanya matrix ukitafuta inverse yake basi ukimultiply matrix times inverse utapata identity ama ukichukua inverse times matrix pia utapata identity hiyo ndiyo faida ya inverse ukitaka kuijua faida yake haswa angalia kwa mfano ukipawa kitu kama hichi 3a is equals to 9 ukitaka ku find the value of a si uta multiply hii 3 by the inverse utafanya hapa times 1 over 3 na huku pia times 1 over 3 hii 3 na 3 itaondoka a itabaki 9 times 1 over 3 by, by 3 1 by 3 3 utapata a is equals 3 au kitu kama hicho wakati wowote kama una coefficient na letter wataka kusafisha hii coefficient kwa wa multiply by inverse huku na huku pia waja wa pre multiply by the inverse sasa wacha tuangalie hii inverse ya matrix ya saidi ya vipi nayo itatumika katika ku solve simultaneous equations lakini haraka haraka kwanza wacha tufanye matrix nyingine kutafuta inverse matrix hii hapa 2 3 4 5 tutafute inverse ya b utasema nini b inverse is equals 1 over determinant times the adjoint determinant hapo utaipata vipi unachukua 2 times 5 10 minus 3 times 4 12 10 minus 12 utapata negative 2 alafu hapa ndani weka adjoint adjoint ni vipi 2 na 5 wabadilisha weka 5 hapa 2 hapa 4 na 3 wabadilisha lakini hubadilishi position wabadilisha sign tu weka hapa negative 3 na badili ya 4 waandika negative 4. Hii ndiyo inverse ya B. Ukitaka ku confirm wafanya nini? Wafanya inverse times matrix uangalie kama inakupa identity. Hebu tuhakikishe. 1 over negative 2 alafu 5 negative 4 negative 3 2. Hii ndio inverse na matrix yenyewe ilikuwa wapi? Matrix yenyewe hii hapa 2 4 alafu 3 5 to multiply haraka haraka tuangalie kama inatupa identity row times column 5 times 2 10 negative 3 times 4 negative 12 utabaki na negative 2 twende row ya chini negative 4 times 2 plus 2 times 4 utapata 0 twende kwa lami ya pili 5 times 3 plus negative 3 times 5 utabaki na 0 tukamilishe hii ya mwisho Negative 4 times 3 negative 12 plus 2 times 5 ni 10 utabaki na negative 2 na nje kulikuwa na 1 over negative 2 haya uone ukikamilisha hiyo this times this utapata 1 this times this utapata 0 this times this utapata 0 na hii times hii utapata 1 tumekamilisha tukapata nini identity matrix kwa hivyo hiyo ndiyo namna ya kufanya inverse unachukua 1 over determinant times the adjoint asanto awesome.